Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. Got Same. one for you. Yes, listening. From BTS Alex, this one. Yeah. Which of Premier League manager do you reckon has the biggest meat scepter? I know we were talking about the Spanish king getting assassinated. Okay. So now we're talking about Premier League managers with meat scepters. Right. Who's Who's got an absolute weapon? Yeah. Okay. I reckon... Oh, I forgot his name. Wolves manager with the big... Nuno. I reckon he's got a Nuno. weapon on him. Um, also, I reckon... also feel like Carlo Ancelotti's got something going no on. Way. Nah, no I, way. No nah, way. No, I just feel the like BTS he does. Alex, would you like to chime in? Sean Dyche, no, no, that's not cutting it for me either. Who radiates absolute mega hog energy? No, but the thing is, you need to think about them when they were younger. Okay. Don't look at them. <laughs> you got to relax. <laughs> no, 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 because no, prem, man- prem managers are all, I'm talking like, think about them when they're in the 20s, 30s, right, okay? Right. They're all like different looking people. Try and think back and look, look, look at Mourinho now. He doesn't look as cool as he did when he was 30. He was a cold Donny, you know? Nah, he looks cold now, nah, bro. I mean, he's yeah, a- he's still, he's still Jose, you know? He's still yeah. like, but he like I reckon day, David Moyes packs heat. You reckon? Yeah, that's Scottish energy right nah, there. Yeah, but he seems like too much of a bit of a, you know, the, like, I don't know, Illa Ramendi always threw me off. <laughs> once, once he couldn't the get Spanish that name, once that game couldn't get right, I was like, you got a small dick, fella. <laughs> who, who else? Um, ooh, I, what you reckon, Kloppo? Ooh. Kloppo could uh, probably got a not piece a on bad him. shout, not a bad shout at all. Yeah, he does look, he's, I swear, he looks quite tall, Klopp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's might be taller than me actually. And and let me tell you, we I was told people we got. I've that. seen your cock. It's a nice cock. Yeah, I mean, thank you. you know, Meat scepter. Meat scepter. Anyways, um, yeah. We, I don't know what BTS Alex gave you that question, did he? Because that, that's very strange. I look. He's the one who's thinking about it, not me. It's true. It's we, true. This is why we hired him. All right, here we go. We have got some relationship advice to be given because it's been a while since we've done that. Yeah, it has. We should it really it. has. Yeah, um, we should we, do that. We didn't do it with George. We we should have done it with George. Yeah, we should have. We should have got his opinion. You know, I'm trying to see what like a multi 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 millionaire has to say about, about when you know Francis yeah. is trying to book two girls at once. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go, lads. Love the pods. What should I do? I'm thinking about starting an OnlyFans for my feet and hands. I know that's very gross. But it's P at the end of the day. However, my girlfriend- Oh, wait, male or female? This is a bloke. Yeah. A fella, sorry. Yeah, fella. Um, end of the day. However, my girlfriend said she would break up with me if I did it. What would you guys do? By the way, we've only been dating for a few months. First of all, what does he say? Feet and hands. Feet and hands. Need to see. I need to see the hands for myself and see if it's even worth the time. <sighs> because a lot of men, they got ugly hands. Yeah. They- they bite down the nails, you know. Their they toes don't, are they moving don't, they nuts. Don't, they don't cut the nails. But got a good feeling about this guy. I reckon he's a veiny fucker. Yeah, that, that's probably actually ve- veins on the hands. Yeah, I, mean, I, re- I, I reckon, them. you know, like when you squeeze it, when the guys do that on TikTok. Yeah. When they, when they, when, but I just want to say, if you do that, you're really wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you are one of those guys that, you know, let, puts your hand down, squeezes, so all the blood goes to your up forearm and oh your my thing. Oh, God. Is you that, that thing? That's what they do on TikTok. So, so the veins all come out and then they'll do like put a couple of rings on like I've got on and then they'll film like that. Oh and then my it'll just, God. And just then, zooming down their arm. Yeah. Oh and, and it's just a bunch of girls that come in and it's just like get a grip. But yeah. Um, that is horrendous. I, um, Look, man. I reckon you should do it. Really? Would you be okay? With, what, like, what, what if, what if, um, you know, you had a missus. Yeah. And she said to you, I want to do feet pics and hand pics. I think that's a no for me. I know that might sound a bit nuts, but I feel like it's a gateway. It's just the beginning. It starts with the feet. One r- super rich Donny goes, right, here's 10 Gs, but I'm trying to I'm trying I'm trying to catch a peek at a non. You're right. You've brought some knowledge here. Yeah. It is a gateway. It is a gateway. Yeah. It starts with the hands and feet, and guess what? It crawls up yeah, the hands and feet crawls. and it moves mad. It crawls. So um to be perfectly honest with you, uh I understand why your girlfriend said no. I think breaking up is a bit mad, but look, if you respect her and you respect her decision, then you should be able to say no. And at why the end of the day- Why do you want to do it? He says just peas. There's a lot of other ways to make money. A lot of other ways to make money. You don't, you don't need to do it like that. Look, if it's your passion, it's what you really enjoy doing, then they, then they don't let it stop you. But if you're just like, doing yeah. it for peas, there's lots of other ways uh, to make yeah, money. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't disrespect your girlfriend's 
like like you shouldn't disrespect the relationship just to make money yeah when he's i'm guessing he's not super old he's young he's got plenty of time to make that bread up. come on now right next up a felita shout out all the felitas in the dms yep. we see you you we girls are you. shining mm-hmm. wait give us a little shining can i hear it are you talking to me yeah no, no i'm talking to the other fucking host on this show there yeah. is no other host. give me a shining give me the vocal shining uh, shining baby yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Hi, me and my boyfriend were talking about having a threesome, and since we were so bored in quarantine, we ended up doing it. Oh shit! With one of his friends about a week ago. Oh, about a week ago. Oh shit! Um, and he was so much better than my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, my. God. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting that at all. My boyfriend's a really nice guy, but he hasn't been doing it for me lately. I don't want to be that girl, but I really like his friend. What should I do? What a stinker. That is possibly one of the worst stories I've heard for that guy ever. Wow. Um. So what, essentially what's happened is, oh no. Bird boyfriend, it, I assume it was her that pitched the idea. No. Um. Wait, why is he let? He's mate banger. Yeah, I mean, maybe he thought, oh, it's just me. It's like, oh, me and crimes. Like, come on, come get busy with me, fella. Like, me and the missus are bored. I would not do that to your missus, bro. Really? Well, if I said, oh, Chip, like, come come on, bro. Like, on a nice one, bro. Come on. Like, we're bored out of our fucking skulls. I I beg you, jump in. You're paying for delivery, though. All right. Well, let's assume that you paid for delivery. Anyways, the mad part is she has then realized what she's missing out on. The friend has done a massaline and left his feels inside her. <laughs> Literally. Oh my that God. That is, this is a nightmare scenario for anyone. Right, first of all, you raise a very good point. <sighs> Huge mistake having a threesome with a mutual friend. Huge Massive mistake. mistake. Rookie error. If you're having a threesome, with, if it's you, your partner, and you're having a threesome, it has to be an unknown person. Personally, it's not for me. That doesn't interest me at all. But it's quite clear that, you know, to be honest, it sounds like she was already a bit bored of her boyfriend's sex. She must have been because you don't just switch up just because of the sex. So she must be getting bored of him anyway. Bored of him anyway. Unless you're a nympho and everything you care about is sex. Yeah. I just just think, uh, what should you do? Look, honestly, I think you should break up with the Donny, your boyfriend. Because the truth is that this will always be in your head now. Yeah. No matter what. Look, uh-huh. and you've just said, he's a really nice guy, but he hasn't been doing it for me lately. Look, it's quite clear that you're not that emotionally invested in him. Could you imagine you caught your girlfriend DMing into podcasts these kind of stories? This is why it's anonymous, Chip. <laughs> because, because- <laughs> That is big. Do you know what the craziest thing is? It, that is probably the case. There are probably people that have sent in stuff and either they're friends or whatever- Probably, you know, if we had said their real name, we'd be like, oh my God, I know that yeah. person. So yeah. this is why, guys, I've we yet, keep I've everything to, anonymous. I've yet to see anyone I know in the DMs, but I feel yeah. like one day it's coming. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> yeah. Potentially. Anyways, um, yeah, so our advice to you is, first of all, you are one cruel, cruel person. But at the end of the day, you can't help how you feel. And if you truly, truly aren't feeling your current Donnie, leave him, but don't go and shag the friend that is that is so peak mate that is peak like th- like as a, that will actually like kill the fellow but the way but. she said she likes him it's like honestly it sounds like she's trying to justify a way yeah to get with a friend there's no justifiable way you okay like, you said it's gonna be a dick move if you do it facts 